enhancing the leadership skill among us no no yeah, from we, 2001 we are, we are always enthralled by your presence you know you be a student and you pass out as an alumni we have our own place i mean it's only because you are uh, taking care and you are giving us time otherwise uh, we are we will also not be what we are what you are saying actually <laughs> so it's so, so humble of you to say all this and navrakshi is i the just <laughs> very fresh just out from heritage just last year just last year back So that's why I have kept her because she knows most of the things about heritage which has changed with passage of time. And what so, a time to come out! Yeah, <laughs> the, the country goes into lockdown. Yeah, the entire country is locked up, and you just come out of college. Yeah, it was in July 19. Okay, so Devashita, we are live. Yes, sir, we are live. Okay, so you can start, Sandeep. Rohit, most welcome to this session. and i can assure you this is going to be a memorable session for all of you all the students all the viewers today i have with me a very distinguished panel panel of five of our very distinguished alumni member from heterogeneous fields they are making all of us very proud firstly let me welcome mr rohit katotia our first batch student rohit did his information technology graduation from heritage institute of technology and completed his course in 2005 then he pursued his mba from icfi now rohit is into financing and manufacturing and rohit also handles a very crucial work of the treasurer in our alumni association most welcome rohit hello sir and next hello, we hello. have squadron leader joydeep mojumdar completed his graduation from applied electronics and instrumentation engineering in the year 2009 joydeep graduated in the year 2019 and nine and got commissioned as an indian air force officer in the year 2010 he completed his ab initial training from indian air force academy hyderabad and got selected in the elite su30 mki frontline fighter aircraft training program thereafter have been posted to various su30 mki squadrons and have been in various mission and exercises got commended by air force commanding chief central air command on 2015 and by chief of air staff on 26 january 2017 for various contingencies pursued mtech in aerospace engineering from defense institute of advanced technology pune from 2018 to 2020 he was there currently posted as an instructor at su30 training school at pune most welcome joydeep squadron leader joydeep mojumdar indian air force in this session thank you thank you so much it's been an honor to be a part of this panel now we have with us ias saurav suman yadav adm gaya district saurav completed his btech in electronics and communication engineering in 2010 his mba from iim lucknow in 2012 he was a senior manager corporate finance bharti airtel limited during the tenure 2012 to 2015 served as a, as assistant director ministry of information and broadcasting government of india during 2016 to 2019 qualified in civil services examination upsc in the year 2018 with all india rank 55 he has been awarded bihar gaurav samman award by voice of bihar also most welcome ias saurav suman yadav our very own ec graduate 2010 in this session most welcome saurav thank you very much now we have with us today ips amit kumar shah he completed 
his graduation in information and technology okay. department okay. in the year 2011. Meeting now he is posted in Howrah <laughs> Police Commissionerate as SCP North 1 Division. Earlier, he worked at Infosys as a systems engineer, presently posted as SCP North Division in the Howrah Police Commissionerate. And in this tenure, we can consider him as a frontline fighter in this, in this pandemic time or in this difficult time of ours. Most welcome, Amit, in this session. Thank you. Hello, hello to everyone. Thank you. Now we have the junior member in this panel, junior most member in this panel, Ms. Mayurakshi Mukherjee. She completed his graduation in electronics and communication engineering department in the year 2019. Currently, he is a, she is a data engineer at IBM. She is a former Asian medalist for the Indian rowing team twice in 2019 and 2016. She has been the University Blue in 2018, national medalist and state champion in rowing for the past 11 years. Our very own Moirakshi graduated in the year 2019, has been the Aparajita Awardee Asanmar in the year 2017. As I told you, she is currently working with IBM as a data engineer. So most welcome Moirakshi also. Thank you, sir. Welcome, all of you. And I'm very excited to be a part of this session. Now, we all are excited to hear from this heterogeneous batch of alumni who have made us, all of us, very proud. Not only the heritage family, the entire country also, and they're serving the nation in all their capacity. Now, I will ask, to start with, I will ask the same question to each one of you. Can you track your path? from heritage days to where you are now for all of us, your journey from your heritage days to where you are now. I would like to start from Rohit. Joy Deep. Uh, Joy Deep, uh, if you, uh, we will start from Joy Deep. Joy, Joy Deep, Deep. If, you, if you trace your path from yeah, your beginning yeah. days. Heritage. Yeah, thank, thank you so much for actually allowing me to speak first. I was quite eager and excited. Uh, first of all, I'm a soldier, not a speaker. Uh, I have more experiences in tactical reconnaissance and air defense system of India. So I'll speak directly from my heart, not that I have some kind of script or something. So uh, if I start with a flashback, which is not actually a black and white flashback, it was a very colorful flashback in the summer of 2005 when I joined Heritage. Uh, it, it was an amazing college with the bestest of the friends which I have made and with whom I have still kept on touch and the memories which I had in this particular college in my department, be it the college fest, be it uh, any kind of event in which we participated, that those all things actually helped me in clearing my training days. Uh, you know, uh, in 2010, when actually I joined Air Force Academy, uh, I was never introduced to rolling, haunching, <coughs> pumping or uh, bare knuckle push-ups in my life. So when actually I started going through that phase and through a 42 kilometer uh, health run almost every week, and when your body started giving up, all those times I actually had those good memories which I have spent in my college, which kept on coming to my head. And uh, after that, when I experienced my uh, first flight also, uh, during that time also, it was not easy. So during all this path, the memories, the uh, good part of heritage was a boon for me. Uh, I would also, uh, I have a common uh, thing with Mayurakshi. I, if uh, not many people in heritage knows, uh, in 2007, I participated in uh, this inter-university rowing championship. And, oh, really? Uh, Yes, yes. And I represented at WBUT for the first time. We made a team and uh, we were the silver medalists in spite of the teams of Calcutta University and Kerala and Hyderabad, Osmania University. Everyone came. So I just got a call that, OK, uh, we know that you have been uh, doing rowing uh, in your school life. So if you are interested and then I did that and somehow it came up very well. And uh, apart from that, I went into various sports also. Um, music was a big passion for me. When uh, our uh, freshers was being done 
at that of time i was very much interested with the band culture of that entire uh, college which was going on so throughout that four years we have been i have been a uh, part of my college band i have been playing drums and uh, all those things actually helped me a lot so uh, when i was initially selected for this uh, indian air force thing i cleared my ssb from varanasi however i was rejected medically because of my overweight i was uh, 10 kg overweight because you know bengalis are generally sweet lovers maj bhat and everything so it made me fat i was 10 10 kg kg 12 kg overweight and uh, since uh, it was a fast track selection i already got placed in uh, infosys and tcs and i had very little time to decide whether i want to actually go towards air force or towards the it company but somehow i i took it up as a challenge and during this time also rowing helped me a lot because entire that rubindo sarovar lake i used to keep on running till the time my legs gave up and uh, thereafter i cleared my medicals and i joined the academy in academy also because of my sports background i i did really well and uh, after that when i went uh, to my first squadron that was 24 squadron uh, 24 squadron is in bareilly the motto of that squadron is no return without conquest it has numerous uh, shorya chakra and kirti chakra in that squadron and uh, i participated in various kind of missions starting from uh the uh, missions in east in uh, sci-fi and in one of the in one of the contingencies uh, i remember i was asked to operate from a barrel airport so that was in sci-fi it, it was a airport of mr mulayam singh yadav so uh, and uh, we were asked to land su-30s over there which was impossible which was actually an impossible task because uh, su-30 bina elite fighter class aircraft it cannot land anywhere like the mirages keep on doing on the agra national highway so somehow uh, before that we had to go for a reconnaissance and we took out the entire area and there was no food there was no accommodation we <laughs> slept on the empty road <laughs> all during those uh, important important situations all uh, during that critical situations uh, only one thing came to my mind those good days in heritage those good days which i spent up on the stage those good days which i have spent up bunking my classes or eating that uh, american chop suey with loknath sauce in the college canteen i don't know whether they still serve that or not and uh, apart from that um, uh, those football matches in which we used to just uh, shout and howl and god damn we didn't play any football over there but we just used to shout and um, it, it was amazing all those things all those memories it was uh, those all actually still still it keeps on going within me and uh, 11 years of service still after i come back the only connection which i have in kolkata apart from my family is my old heritage friends who are over here uh, arvin sir will uh, like recollect all those famous names in my batches so whenever i come to kolkata i make it a point of meeting them first of all because they are the roots which have been like um, still increasing the positivity within me so <laughs> all all that's about the heritage connection which i had thank you so humble of you <laughs> thank you thanks joydeep it was really good to hear that and oh, yes sir heritage yes. is always the same for you don't worry whenever you come back you'll find it as good as possible that's a it's great to know that you have connection with joy that was really great i did not know that it was pretty impressive so from yeah. the arm forces meet up frequently yes 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 so so now uh, from the arm forces we meet up uh, with the police and yeah. the ground force so we've got amit who will be sharing his journey with us please amit on to you uh, so my introduction has been, my introduction has already been given i want to add something into it uh, i am from uh, 2007 batch and uh, uh, it's great to be part of the alumni uh, alma mater to again to be part of the alma mater and uh, to hear uh, from joydeep and then uh, from others also i will also will hear it so it's uh, the call back the to recollect the such kind of summary uh, it's feeling so great i will, i want to tell something that this police uh, service uh, we undergo differently very difficult kind of training just like joydeep told uh, we also undergo training in npa hyderabad uh, but during that time of journey 
uh same as uh, jodi told that uh, that old memory days is very crucial for us to uh, i will say survive because at that point of time uh, how to uh, how to be uh, energy full how to complete the the exercises the competitions everything it requires the great stamina i want to tell one more thing Uh, that uh, during uh, heritage institute technology i uh, during my college days uh, when i was uh, when i was uh, there uh, we have a very small group of friends i i was not so uh, extrovert so uh, i was with uh, my four group of friends and uh, that four is still uh, we are in uh, in contact with each other and they are uh, one of my uh, best friends which we have uh, which i have ever met and uh, till the contact uh, is uh, is there uh, that journey from there only my upsc journey started uh, from heritage institute of technology only my my college uh, I, i started preparing for upsc uh, i got friends uh, mainly uh, from uh, uh, west bengal and from bihar and uh, we started preparing from there itself uh, some of us also cracked the uh, state services and some uh, are uh, one of my friend uh, from my batch itself who was in seven batch uh, somedi bhattacharya uh, both of us are in ips and in the same cadre west bengal cadre and he is my uh, uh, colleague also in uh, west bengal uh, cadre he is presently posted in uh, as acp arsen singh durgapur commissioner so it feels so good that uh, from heritage institute technology uh, such kind of uh, alumni are getting uh, out of, and it's really very uh, proud to say that i am part of this alma mater and uh, uh, one more thing i want to say that uh, when when we used to uh, uh, go and visit uh, uh, colleges uh, we used to bunk classes we used to go and enjoy and eat, eat uh, snacks outside of the college canteen uh, there was one uh, uh, small shop i didn't remember the name but we used to go outside macha 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 right right yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, so macha was there we used to go and enjoy and have a good time there i used to remember uh, and i also want to go and uh, recollect the memory again so uh, hopefully i will come soon uh, to yes, heritage yes. academy so uh, i feel I, i feel i feel very proud to be part of uh, this institute and and from this institute only i gain my i gain confidence how to uh, uh, get success in life how to uh, develop our leadership capability how to be uh, how to be part of the system how to enhance our capability and how to get uh, uh, how to build our self confidence so it's it's a great institute to uh, be with uh, that's it that from my side we'll be looking forward to your visit at heritage as soon as the pandemic definitely. is over <laughs> definitely yeah, after pandemic can... definitely after pandemic i will come and yes. i will and yeah, yeah amit i'll take you to the lab where, where we used to do coding for mcs 581 yes 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 <laughs> okay so now uh the baton goes to saurav good luck to everyone uh it was uh, it was wonderful to hear from uh, amit and uh, joydeep uh so for me also uh, i actually i still remember very uh, that after uh, on something happens at uh, the university and then we got a coupon and we had to report at heritage so when i reached there i was so impressed by the the first look of the institute i was very happy that okay because at, uh, you know i had some choices here and there some department you take in different college and it was electronic so i reported to heritage and i was so happy to see the place and uh, then uh, now i'm all the more happy that i chose that place uh, to do my engineering located in such a wonderful location and uh, for me uh, i am from a small town called kalyani in nadia district 
so most of my life i stayed there i hardly stayed outside so first time i was staying in calcutta and it was like a big 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 thing for me uh, and heritage gave me all those so many firsts the first time we did so many things and uh, uh, learned to live in a uh, truly independent way make my own decisions uh, do some things uh, you know uh, that we were not able to do at home and so many things uh, uh, that uh, happened when we were not uh, under direct adult supervision so that kind of thing uh, i think uh, when you talk about uh, tracing the path from college to where we are now i think it ended up uh, from uh, for me at least from a kid to an adult that's the transformation that happened there at least mentally and uh, um, yeah, the courage to take a decision to do something uh, because everything little thing that we do there a play a sport uh, just go out with friends uh, uh do an experiment in a lab we are much more independent compared to when we are uh, supervised uh, regularly in school and all so uh, to that extent i think heritage really laid the foundation for whatever i did later uh, it was there that i uh, because when i was in my hometown we did it in city much so there i saw a lot of things and we believed that we could do bigger things so i then i decided to go for a mba uh, and most importantly um, it is gave me the first job so this is <laughs> this is always a kind of a, a dream for all of us to get a job so the first job offer that i got for most of us uh, would get from the heritage that is a gain although did not go and join but uh, that happiness that uh, you know at that night it was around 10 in the night that uh, you have been placed in this in this uh, thing so that is remarkable i think that uh, kind of thing will stay with me forever and another thing uh, that i would like to mention uh, from heritage is very it will remain uh, special for me all my life is that uh, heritage has the exchange program i don't know whether it has still has uh, yeah, uh, new jersey institute of njit technology so 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 i was with the first batch uh, that uh, went there so you can imagine that uh, coming to calcutta was such a huge thing for me so you can imagine how i would feel if i land up in new york and suddenly you know we are at times square and statue of liberty and uh, empire state building all those things so again uh, thanks to british for uh, uh, making that special trip and it was it was not a small trip it was uh, almost two months long so uh, that is uh, a very uh, but you know when they look at all these things put together uh, it it's like uh, gradually it's a block by block that uh, my personality my abilities my confidence uh, my leadership all those things that even jolly talked about they are being developed in there is a series of small things that we did and uh, uh, very proudly uh, everywhere i mentioned that uh, i am an alumnus of uh, uh, alumni of heritage institute of technology and uh, from here uh, is where i started to dream big i started to think about doing big things and uh, uh, in a way i still i although i passed uh, 10 years ago i feel that my career is still starting so and we we have a very long long way to go uh, but uh, whenever i'm stuck whenever i'm uh, struggling i will always uh, and whenever i do well i will always think of uh, heritage as the place that laid the foundation i will always look to heritage for inspiration and uh, uh, fortunately uh, i had the good fortune of going there last year uh, during the induction program for freshers uh, it was a wonderful experience uh, i've been wanting to go there uh, to visit the place but uh, i was officially invited and uh, i was given a very nice treatment in the heritage sir the registrar sir hai to he took very good care of us all of us visited so uh, it was amazing and uh, i think uh, it would be good for uh, me again i would like to go there again and again if not every year at least in the gap in the gap of all the facilities in the gap of 3 4 5 years Uh, i would love to visit it and um, uh, i mean it's a little emotional but from the bottom of my heart i want to thank heritage for uh, letting me stay there for 4 years uh, letting me become what i am thank you thank you saurav uh, so it's nice hearing from you and uh, rohit i think uh, rohit can uh, will inform you about the next meet when the alumni will be planning physically absolutely absolutely so, Oh, so i we 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 expect you will be there absolutely now actually it's is very difficult for me to take that mayurakshi has become an alumni <laughs> I, i still can see mayurakshi going in icit building so it's very difficult for me to uh, i know so even i can't so excited at sometimes it's still very fresh <laughs> just a few months back <laughs> 
now would love to hear from you mayur actually uh, okay sure um well uh, again it was a great experience hearing from uh, amit joydeep and uh, saurav and great stories so i joined uh, i was admitted in heritage in 2015 and um, and uh, i had just uh, i was a student of south point high school so uh, probably a lot of the students come from south point nowadays so uh, yeah i was looking for a great i was looking for a college uh, you know uh, that would uh, i was since already i was so involved in lo- rowing i was looking for a college which which would help me uh, pursue my dreams and uh, needless to say heritage gave me that and a lot more everything that comes part of the package of a great college life a great education great friends a great college experience and above all the freedom to realize yourself to pursue your dreams and to achieve your ambitions all of that heritage just made everything a little bit easier for me definitely so i would like to say uh, i would like to recount a story which uh, at that time it was very funny but yeah i can safely recount it now so that was uh, i remember that was the first day of classes after my convocation so that was in august 2015 and uh, my junior national rowing championship was just a few months away uh, in september uh, that year and training was already going on and i was clocking around 8 um, hours per day and college classes started from 9 so i was <laughs> i was uh, very much conflicted on how i would was going to balance that with my training and my classes so the very first day without knowing without approaching any of my teachers or trying to uh, figure out if there was an easier way to get it done i just barged into principal sir's office like that with my with my uh, with my request that see sir uh, i am the uh, new joinee and i'm starting classes uh, from today itself but this is my case and i would need leave for a few hours in the morning so well of course you can expect how that went <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the most awkward experiences ever <laughs> but <laughs> thankfully thankfully arvind sir bailed me out a few days later and uh, yeah ever since then my attendance was um, became a really easy issue to deal with so the mornings i would uh, spend training uh, at the bengal rowing club for my uh, practice and after that i would come straight to college attend all my classes then leave again in the early afternoon evening for my second session of practice so that was a great experience the whole of college life and uh, come th- third year and fourth year uh, career planning so i never realized my uh, at first you know i was so fixated on the idea of being a rowing a uh, uh, national rowing um, champion so that can't be just the only part of your life right so you have to think about the other things too so heritage Uh, helped me realize my uh, dream to achieve a stable alternate career path, and uh, they uh, now I'm a data engineer at IBM, so that's great. <laughs> so thank you, and it's uh, the whole memory has been a great, great experience. And I would like to say one more thing that uh, school is a very important foundational training, but college is the gateway to life it is the gateway to the rest of your life a uh, proper career a uh, rich life basically so suffice to say heritage is a complete experience so thanks thank you sandeep sir you remember uh, uh, taking uh, our classes in first year i was in your class of and course, of course i can remember <laughs> yeah the number of times i had to approach you after class because i was had a problem with something yeah. in, during the session because i missed out and, or maybe i fell asleep during as, class <laughs> i also remember that as your open elective you had chosen operations research means maths as your yeah, open yeah. elective in fourth year i i can remember that too yeah yeah i <laughs> yeah that, at that point yeah, of time you had I, some... I, because maths was one of my favorite subjects <laughs> and uh, you were a great teacher Oh that's nice of you. 
<laughs> so now I I just uh, I just would like to hear from uh, uh, Saurav and Amit. I have a curiosity to know one thing, which we were discussing before we began the session, that both of you have worked coincidentally, Rohit, for four years in industry. And then you have switched to other, other, other type of domain. I Means you switched your domain after, 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 I mean, uh, working for four years in industry. So what motivated you to take the shift or, or, or how you plan uh, accordingly that you will switch? And was there any pre-plan or, or what, what was the mindset to do this? Should I start? Yeah, Sorry, please. Okay. So uh, uh, as you know, I passed out in 2010 and then uh, I went on to do MBA. Uh, and then uh, I worked uh, from 2012 to 16 in Airtel. Now between my engineering, which is in electronics and communication and my work experience, uh, it was uh, telecom and communication. Uh, there's a slight link there. Uh, but as far as uh, switching from uh, uh, the corporate uh, to uh, to the government sector, that uh, that's a little bit uh, that's that's what, that's what the question is, and it's a little bit that people have in mind. I've been asked this question a lot. Now, first of all, I would like to say that uh, when I was working for Bharti Airtel, it's an excellent organization. I had no complaints uh, in the three and a half and four years I worked there, and uh, absolutely never, as you can see, I didn't uh, change organizations. Uh, that if I had continued, I'd probably be there for another 10 years. But they treated me very nicely. But uh, at the same time, uh, while I was working there, I went on thinking uh, in terms of uh, uh, what kind of contributions I am making uh, to the society, to my country. Those kind of uh, questions started coming to me. And of course, we all, in our own way, uh, whether it is uh, in the private sector, is uh, in the university as professors and we all make our own contributions but uh, personally for me I thought that uh, you know if I work in uh, that kind of a sector it will be far more rewarding for me uh, personally at least and uh, uh, the kind of changes uh, that you get to do and so that's how I decided to take the take a leap of faith I did not know how it would turn up because it's a huge risk you leave your career and then uh, let's say after two three years you want to come back and nobody wants you anymore all those kind of things uh, which you are aware of in the private sector because uh, every year counts. And, uh, but now I have taken it. Uh, it was uh, to join public service. And I can tell you, uh, uh, I've been in the Ministry of Information Broadcasting. I was there since 2016. And then uh, I'm in the administrative services now for almost uh, since 2019. Uh, I, it's, it's phenomenal, uh, the kind of work that you can do. So in the few months that I've been here in Gaya, uh, some of the projects that I have uh, uh, looked after, uh, one was the return of migrants uh, of Bihar from different uh, states. So uh, we had to quarantine them uh, for 14 days mandatorily and then we have to house them, we have to feed them and then eventually uh, send them, uh, make arrangements for sending them to the districts and uh, most of them come, uh, they were jobless, they didn't have much money. They are also angry as you might have uh, seen already in the news. A lot of things that happened which were beyond our control. But uh, as far as we were concerned, it was immensely satisfying to see uh, that uh, we could uh, keep them in a good place. We could arrange. Uh, uh, the second uh, was uh, in a, uh, when the COVID was at its peak in Bihar. Now the situation is much better. Uh, I was deputed to the medical college uh, in Gaya. Uh, because, uh, there was a whole lot of patients. And uh, as was the situation in uh, the country and the globe, uh, that... Uh, Patients were facing difficulties, some deaths were happening. And uh, so that time uh, I was deputed, I had a team and uh, we could make sure that at least uh, because of us, uh, you know, at least uh, hundreds of people would have got treatment, their family members thanked us and uh, uh, we kind of made life a little easy for them. You cannot uh, solve the problems because once the person falls sick in the family, they have to take care of everything. But at least we told them that they did not worry that if their uh, relative is in the hospital, they are getting good food, if doctors are attending to them, if their tests are happening on time, uh, if there are all kinds of patients, if every kind of need uh, is taken care of. So we could at least uh, assure them of those kind of things. Uh, similarly, we were handling Vande uh, Bharat evacuations uh, uh, and the Gaya was a nodal airport for Bihar and Jharkhand. Uh, 
and most of the people who were returning they are basically laborers from the middle east again have been unemployed for a uh, uh, three four months uh, angry frustrated so so at least we here uh, took a very humane approach trying to explain to them and not really react to some of the tantrums that might uh, you know generally people are angry with administration you know i mean most of us have kind of a grudge against people in the administration so uh, i think this is just a start uh, and uh, um, so i'm i'm very happy that uh, we can impact uh, we can impact lives of people we can give justice to people uh, yesterday itself uh, one lady came and uh, she had a 3 month old baby and uh, it was a, it was a love marriage uh, her in laws was not allowing her to stay with them uh, it's a very again in india it's a very common kind of thing that happens uh, not so in west bengal west bengal it's slightly better but uh, in other states we had in bihar yana in us it's much worse actually uh, so um, you know can you imagine a uh, you know uh, with a 3 month old baby this lady in the winter uh, coming 30 kilometers uh, to this uh, district magistrate's office because uh, the police station whatever they did not uh, hear her so or you could not get her work done so, so naturally at least at that point we feel that okay now i have been able to help her so we ensured that she was she's been taken care of and she can stay there without any fear uh, so these are the kind of things i think um, we have a, i have a long way to go <laughs> it's almost 30 years ahead of me but hopefully this uh, spirit of public service will be alive in me and uh, uh, hopefully uh, uh, the bureaucracy and the public servants they have a slightly bad name and i have i have my had my share of bad experiences i will not uh, you know give any kind of defense we all have had if you go to any kind of government uh, government office so at least uh, my hope is that and uh, i'm sure uh, uh, my friend amit uh, he will do we all come in the same kind of feel and enthusiasm uh, that uh, we will make it a little better we will make the name more than us uh, the name of the service the name of the government the name of the bureaucracy uh, uh, it's slightly positive instead of a negative sarkari daftar ja rahe hain that's the hope uh, hopefully maybe later after 5 10 years i can tell you if i have achieved any of it or not nice amit amit you want to come in here <coughs> i definitely can agree with that yeah yeah definitely i i definitely agree with the sort of what he has uh, shared when i joined in heritage uh, i had my uh, set of uh, friend circle and in that friend circle there was a uh, enthu of uh, joining civil services giving uh, trying for preparing for civil services and all and uh, that led me to prepare from my heritage days itself i was uh, kind of a uh, bit inclined towards civil services though i didn't know anything that how to proceed further but still uh, that kind of Uh, into uh, from my friends itself i i get that uh, um, get that passage how to how to uh, go forward and uh, how to prepare everything i learned from my friend circle in heritage itself uh, then when i moved on i uh, i had a on camp on campus placement in infosys when i moved on to chennai uh, i i uh, started my career from there uh, from there uh, as an uh, it uh, from my it background as an it engineer but uh, during my spare time i was reading books and preparing for upsc uh, and i learned that a lot of uh, a lot of digital work can be done uh, those digital services can be built up and uh, in the government system and uh, definitely uh, when i joined the uh, when i was giving upsc interview uh, itself i uh, i want to know from saurav also they used to ask one general cost question that uh, uh, what you can give uh, from my background especially my background was it so they used to ask in upsc interview what kind of uh, uh, your experience will help in our government system in our bureaucratic system and definitely i am 100% sure that i am giving my 100% and my it knowledge is also uh very useful for uh, for the system at at the, uh, at the at this point of time uh, recently we are facing uh, covid pandemic lockdown period was there still it's going on and uh, in howrah commissionerate we have uh, uh, operation covid zero and in that uh, how to deliver good products 
to uh, poor poor and the poor people uh, so uh, building that data contacting with the food delivery system swiggy and all we have uh, made the system then in our back office also lot of systems are there many people used to come from uh, from many victims but uh, they, they it, it got uh, it generally are untraced so what we used to do uh, in our howda constraint uh, we have built a system Uh, to how to track pending papers and all uh, uh, where where the papers is lying at present in which office it is there so that kind of system is really helpful and with the help of our knowledge excel which coming to picture uh, we have also developed uh, other system like uh, uh, we are building a app also in uh, howra city police uh, in the, this this comes uh, that uh, that will tell uh, the people uh, common citizens that uh, what are the nearby Police stations uh, and uh, the mobile number of uh, officer in charge that is SHO in other states, and uh, also it will uh, locate, it will give uh, nearby COVID hospitals, nearby normal hospitals, where are the pharmacy located, and uh, people can report any incident, and uh, definitely uh, uh, within a short span of time, how to uh, take action, how uh, how how fast our response can be. so we are coming with that uh, and that is all, all because of our it knowledge so i am very much 100% sure and also very positive that uh, my knowledge which i have gained from heritage institute has definitely uh, uh, helped me and it will definitely help my uh, my government will definitely help our government in building uh, in building more uh, more responsive more speed speedy and uh, more active uh, system so that's it from my side thank I you i hope everyone have understood it thanks amit thanks a lot uh, saurav and amit both have been uh, shedding light on uh, a very important topic here uh, and uh, yes uh, we can easily say that whatever we learn in college some way or the other will always help even if you change your stream change your line change your career it will always be there with you and help you out. so moving ahead this is one question which uh, keeps on asking is joydeep and mayurakshi both of you are being uh, have 10 years of difference almost right so yes, you've yes. seen the college in two different eras i can say de- two different decades actually so how is the extra curricular changed in these two decades if both of you can shed light so those who are with us can know ki now what extra curricular we had and what we expect now so mayurakshi you can handle the new version and joydeep you can tell us exactly what has happened from your time to this time yeah uh, i can tell uh, during the 2000 uh, 2005 to 2009 wala era in which it was uh, mostly the era of classic rock and heavy metal which was going on in the <laughs> college and uh, you you will find uh, on one side uh, there was this group of people who were actually very enthralled with different kind of extracurricular activities not only music but dramatics and uh, video shooting and everything there was a very very happy environment all around i would see like people were so much interested in uh, playing different kind of sports or uh, uh, like actually uh, organizing tournaments within or bid within that uh, own uh, tt room inside or the uh championships in which heritage used to represent outside like in different other colleges was uh, was entirely a different ball game altogether so for me uh, apart from the classic education uh, system which was built over there by our department uh, the rest of the extracurricular activities was also taken in a very high pitch as it is uh anyone who comes to kolkata uh, any kid who gives a joint entrance examination the first choice for anyone to become is in uh, jadavpur university after that uh, you uh, really have any other college within calcutta in proper calcutta where you can actually go so uh, when i joined heritage i was a bit dejected because my rank was not good enough to actually fetch me to jadavpur university but it was good enough to come to heritage and That's when i came good. to heritage uh, i saw the infrastructure i thought okay bahar se to bahut badhiya dikh raha it is it looks very pretty good so let me see what is there inside and trust me in this four years it it was it, it was a different ball game altogether i doubt any other institute in calcutta 
can actually engineering institute in calcutta can actually be at par with heritage in terms of extracurricular activities during our era we had the best of the dance team best of the music team best of the dramatics team um, be it debates and be it sports and everything it was very good because uh, not only uh, btech we had bba bca mba everyone was uh, like a storehouse or a powerhouse of talent everywhere i could see and and the environment was beautiful the environment in college was beautiful i could hear i uh, from different colleges that there were sfi activists there was uh, this problem police came inside college i never faced anything in my college even the security guards were so peaceful and so friendly and our friends also like i never saw anything happening in my college during our college time because it was always a friendly and a happy environment throughout which actually inculcated a good sense of education as well as like motivation to go for an extra mile beyond that's what in my era we see it happen i actually am very inquisitive that what happened with mayurakshi <laughs> <laughs> during my time uh, just like you said jori uh, i don't think much has changed apart from uh, it has only improved from there so even in my time her- heritage has still has a very vibrant uh, extracurricular culture so during my final year uh, i was the student sports club coordinator along with a few of my batchmates from other departments but even apart from that uh, throughout the four years there were uh, everybody was uh, took the fests very seriously the student council did a great job of that and uh, even uh, apart from the fest there were uh, regular t- uh, basketball tournaments uh, archery also and lots of other extracurricular activities uh, i remember some of my uh, friends from my uh, own uh, batch they were uh, regular members in the basketball team and uh, uh, sandeep sir you remember ruchi da right uh, she was uh, one another all rounder so she was i always saw her winning uh, medals in basketball and uh, relay and athletics everywhere <laughs> so yeah and uh, apart from uh, ict cmb cb and sac build uh, sac building the there the open grounds that the basketball court is right beside and every day after classes i would see most of my friends you know uh, dribbling a ball throw a netting and <laughs> netting a score in the baskets and playing football in the uh, behind the uh, sac building so that is a great culture and outside the college i would say i mean jadavpur has a good network but i had friends in my rowing team who were uh, who were students in jadavpur university at the same time when i was in college and i can safely say the about the struggle they would face to get approvals for uh, leaves for classes before they left for a tournament uh, my journey was much more easier than that so <laughs> it the uh, so that's a shout out to the administration also to facilitate the facilitate the uh, process and make it much easier for students who act, uh, who aspire to do more outside the college also apart from studies so that definitely that's a shout out to them hats off thank you arvin sir for that especially uh, <laughs> you made it very easy for me so as a job to make your journey easier at heritage it is our job to make it easier 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 that's why i said three yeah. times you said it is a shout out that's why <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's there so yeah it's still and the students are very much uh, uh, very much extracurricular oriented so they are always uh, looking for apart from studies they all everybody needs some kind of activity right apart from study study should not be the only thing in your life at any point definitely so we also had uh, musicians and uh, rock bands also <laughs> in our batches so canteen and marcha still they happening in hangouts and uh, very often you will find uh, the students there <laughs> jamming a guitar singing along also and the traditional art days of course there so yeah that's all Rohit, you are muted. Sorry, no. Hello. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. So uh, one more thing that uh, everyone wants to know when they join an engineering college is about the education. 
So I I believe they've all done the research. They've all asked their friends, but they want to hear from people who actually been through uh, the college. So if any one of you can shed more light on what sort of a education um, pattern we can expect, and what sort what sort of education is there in the college. So any one of you uh, who wants to take up the mantle. I'll just say briefly, uh, like it's. Uh... Yes, sir. Please. Uh, it's as good as uh, you will get anywhere else. Uh, I have uh, studied in heritage, and uh, then I went on to study at IIM Lucknow. Uh, I did my training at uh, the Lal Bahadur Shastri Academy in Mussoorie. So I've been to some, uh, you know, really uh, fantastic places, and I have friends from other uh, places. So I can assure you that uh, it's as good as uh, you will get anywhere else. Uh, of course, it's up to you uh, how much you want to learn, how much you want to, uh, to go outside your uh, the bare minimum that you need to do. Uh, that is up to you, but uh, if uh, the inputs, really high quality inputs, will be given to you. Professors are excellent. Uh, uh, some of the best again. Uh, that uh, because uh, see again, I just to clarify because sometimes we have kind of impression like Jadavpur University was mentioned, and then uh, you know probably there will be IT kind of right? but there are all those kind of places. But if you uh, see and because I've seen, I can tell you that every every institute has its share of uh, excellent and average and not so good professors, and. Uh, uh, so, uh, as far as heritage is concerned, I can tell you that uh, you get all the avenues for a fantastic education. The library, I will spe specifically like to mention, it is excellent. And uh, when I gone the last time, uh, it was uh, being uh, even more upgraded in terms of technology, and they were getting uh, a lot of uh, new books. I could not uh, discuss in detail, but uh, I could see that a lot of work was happening there. So the professors are high quality, most of them. And if you have any kind of interest in inclination to go beyond. Uh, uh, what is prescribed in the coursework, you will get enough uh, avenues for that as well. So I think uh, it's, uh, it's fantastic. I mean, nobody needs to worry about that. Amit, uh, Joydeep, uh, you guys want to add up uh, anything to that? Some of you, any experience, you specific experience you have about the education here? Um, can you please come again? You want to add a, uh, add a snippet from your uh, journey? Which, add, which can highlight uh, what sort of education experience you had here. Ed education was very good and very strict indeed. Half of the time I was outside the class because <laughs> I was a very serious student. And uh, I, I used to love the labs and everything, but uh, classes were very strict and very good. In fact, the, uh, I especially remember the uh, invigilation which happens uh, during exam and that was um, uh, uh, the way apart. So they ensured that you are still in school. Like education quality uh, was so strict that I felt that I, I have never graduated to college and still in school because that amount of discipline was inculcated while we were studying over there. And that actually had a good output, made us better engineers than the rest of the people who were there in the field anytime. Yeah. Definitely, I agree with uh, Jody. Uh, the education quality was really very good. I, I particularly will say I was very much involved in practical studies and all. So I was mostly, uh, if Sandeep sir remember, I was mostly uh, involved myself in uh, labs. I, I regularly used to go and visit labs and uh, I was mostly involved in Java programming and then database uh, management system, DBMS. And that, that kind of research, and uh, I was very much involved in labs and all. So uh, it, uh, the practical ex experience, apart from theories and all, it was very, very well taught and inculcated in, inside us. And that make us apart from other, uh, other students. Thank you. Just I want to add two specific things, since you said uh, specific. Uh, first was, the, as I had already... First, as I already mentioned about the exchange program they have, uh, Heritage has with the uh, New Jersey Institute of Technology. And the second thing is, uh, uh, what I was saying is if you really want to learn something, because at that time I got interested in uh, hardware coding and uh, VHDL, uh, that language was there, and so I wanted to learn it. I and uh, some of my batchmates. So even that, uh, the head of our department with some outside faculty, and thing, that arrangement was made. And we... You know, during one, one and a half months, we could, outside our classroom, we could learn that hardware programming and that language. So, I mean, it was fantastic. I uh, I had friends, of course, you were all, uh, whoever are uh, in heritage, you will have friends across uh, different colleges uh, in West Bengal and other places. 
Uh, but these kind of avenues I did not find uh, in, a, in a other places. So it was really good. Now, I would like to hear this from Mayuraksh also. She is probably Rohit, uh, uh, just like a fresher in your alumni pool. That would be an appropriate way to put it, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, I would like to uh, add one more thing. So not, of course, the quality of education is excellent and um, the infrastructure we get in the labs is very good. So definitely my favorite time in college was the time I spent in the labs, definitely. But apart from that also, uh, whenever I had to uh, leave town for extended periods uh, of training in uh, the national camp, so I would miss classes for a continuous long stretch. So always at the time when I returned, I would find myself behind on uh, the curriculum and the teachers have always been too happy to help me out. So whenever I would uh, approach them with any help, like whether I had a confusion in understanding some concept or if I needed uh, some extra guidance or if I needed some extra help in understanding a whole chapter altogether maybe. So they have always found the time to uh, They've always uh, given me the time after the day was over and uh, sat, sat down with me and gone over my doubts. So yeah, that is a very, very supportive, uh, supportive um, uh, structure, I would say, uh, staff has. So that is there. Mm, great. Now, it seems, Joydi, during these 10 years, the strictness level has decreased a bit or not? I don't know. Maybe she can tell that better. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, well, uh, final <laughs> exams, invigilation was, uh, I think, same uh, level of strictness because we had three invigilators at a time in the room. So there was nowhere to even turn your head. <laughs> <laughs> during our time, during our time, uh, we had someone uh, hovering near the washroom also. Oh, so, that, that, <laughs> <laughs> so the entire tactics and strategy was decided pre-handed. Okay, <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, thankfully, uh, not not that case in our time. But yeah, three invigilators at a time in the room is definitely a lot. So the tension is always there. <laughs> But it is important for the students to know, know that once you uh, communicate, start communicating with the teachers and once you uh, build a report with them, so the overall process is definitely much easier, both for your teacher and as for the student itself. So communication is the key. So we've got uh, three uh, of the panelists who actually had a change of uh, career. So one question which comes and it's also come from the audience that Whatever you study here, like suppose you're doing uh, electronics and electronic communication, you're doing information technology. After studying that, you make a career in some other stream, like maybe finance, maybe civil services. So, ca can it, is it actually possible and, uh, or, uh, or can he actually be good in that career? A lot of us people there say, if, I, if I'm doing an IT, I cannot make a career in other stream. So, how difficult it is and how uh, how do you actually go about it? Hello? Yeah. Hello, did I make a, did I, did, did right. I get a question right? Yeah, was that audible? Uh, Saurav was yeah, answering. Was the question audible, Saurav? Am no, I'm sorry. Can you please repeat? Can you please yeah, repeat? actually, uh, like yeah. uh, people here, since you all, uh, three of you have been in a, in a in a particular stream and have actually changed to another stream or another uh, career. So uh, how difficult it is and how a college can help you actually to actually change your career. So suppose I've been in information technology, I'm moving to finance or I'm moving to civil services, which is a very different line. Mm -hmm. So yes. how difficult yes, it is. Uh, mm, yeah. It's not very difficult. Uh, essentially, see, uh, beyond a certain point, uh, those uh, technical aspects of the details, those things you can learn. But the, the, the core things behind uh, any uh, work that you do, uh, they are uh, skills like problem solving, uh, critical thinking, uh, um, ability to work with a team, leadership qualities, ability, uh, leadership qualities, as well as being a team player, taking care of other people, 
uh, working hard, taking responsibility. Uh, these are things that will come in handy uh, no matter what work you do. And these are the things that will really matter. You, uh, you see the Mehrak, she's here, she's a sports person. She will tell you that it, it's not very different to excel in an exam and uh, to do uh, what she does in rowing. Uh, because it is all require uh, dedication, perseverance, hard work and uh, discipline. Uh, if you're in a team sport, then it's a teamwork. Uh, and the same teamwork uh, applies uh, when you're working in a corporate office or you're working in a, a team uh, anywhere. Uh, if I'm here, uh, I need to uh, be able to work with my boss. I need to be able to work with my subordinates. I need to be able to communicate very effectively. And uh, so these are the skills. The, the skills of critical thinking, the skills of communication, the skills of teamwork, the skills of leadership. That, and these things uh, I have seen at least uh, in heritage that there is a focus to, uh, we used to have sessions on communication skills uh, before our placements. Uh, so th those are really useful. Uh, um, uh, in course of your coursework, you'll come across where you need to think innovatively, especially programming is a very uh, interesting thing where you need to solve problems, you need to think, uh, you need to innovate. Uh, if you participation in uh, extracurricular, participation in sports, they are good for your teamwork, uh, your uh, your leadership skills. So essentially, uh, by participating in the college, uh, uh, these uh, core skills that they give you, uh, they will be useful in any career. So whether you are in IT, whether you are in finance, if you have these basic skills, if you have this discipline, you have the integrity, uh, then you will do well no matter where you are. Uh, that's, that's my take on it. That's my submission to all of you. Amit, you like to add to that? Yes, I want to add. <clears throat> sure, please. Uh, stream doesn't matter actually. From me, uh, I was I belong to IT stream, but uh, still I I will be able to excel in this field. Stream actually, uh, when when I was in college, I have repeatedly also told it that uh, that the level of dedication, the level of confidence, the level of enthusiasm. And to do a problem solving as Saurabh told, problem solving, critical thinking, that does that doesn't matter with stream. It's completely, uh, if you have that level of dedication in any kind of stream, you will be excelling in that. So from my take, I will say that uh, even if you uh, uh, go with uh, EC or computer science or uh, let's say instrumentation technology, but uh, whatever you do, it will definitely uh, make you uh, uh, make your dedication level, if you are making your dedication level uh, in a better position, if you are uh, improving your confidence, you can switch over to other stream uh, very easily and uh, you can excel in that field also where you want to go. So basically, the patience level is required. How much patience right. you have. Uh, and in, in our, in our uh, kind of field, police field, uh, most of the thing is like listening capabilities. Uh, I definitely... Two. Yeah, Saurav, Saurav will be uh, with me always that mm. uh, in our uh, in our uh, kind of field, uh, administrative field, uh, listening power should like, be... Yeah. Uh, yes. Listening power should be more. Uh, because we have to hear hear from uh, common people, public, what, what are their grievances. We have to hear it. And uh, patience level should be high. Uh, so that these two, three qualities are required. Uh, for any stream, it will be applicable. Right, very good, Amit. So, Mahirakshi, Jai, uh, and Amit Sir, uh, one thing I would like, uh, the audience would always be interested, is how do you extract the best out of heritage? They'll be here, all of the uh, people who are listening to us will be here for the next four years. So, what are your suggestions to them to extract the best from our college? Jaydeep Mahirakshi, can I have some comments from you? Yeah, uh, so one of the uh, problems, I, I, you go ahead. No, no, go ahead, please. No, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I, I even want to hear. <laughs> okay, uh, one of the things I would like to stress on, uh, it's important to keep an uh, open mind at all the times and uh, welcome constructive criticism. Mm -hmm. That is uh, the most important point I can stress on right now. Because uh, since college is uh, basically, it will uh, teach the student uh, more about in, uh, industry knowledge in some sense. But 
an undergraduate degree is the stepping stone to any kind of career later so and of course it is related uh, again like the previous question when uh, ms amit said that it's important to have listening skills so along with that it would be better <laughs> it would be uh, having a growth mindset is also important so <clears throat> having a growth mindset means uh, having the ability to uh, believe in yourself and to focus on uh, what's important and uh, recognize that constantly upskilling yourself is a necessity in today's world it's highly competitive and of course it nothing is easy but like i said constructive criticism listening skills keep an open mind and always focus on growth growth and growth that's all yeah i i would like to add on to this uh, i think uh, during that age when you join the college during that uh, 17 18 years of age when you join the college you basically have lot of clutter all around so uh, my request to all the new student is uh, weed out those clutter and focus or concentrate on the day to day matter and what you going to gain after this four years uh, uh, from a instrumentation engineer from point of view i would like to say that uh, maintain a closed loop system have an output get a feedback and then give it to the input so that you can produce the best result do a course correction anywhere where you feel that you are not actually going towards your heritage will give you a platform so uh, whether you want to launch from that platform or whether you want to be a dumb bomb it's up to you so you have got one of the bestest platform over there where you can actually take off and you can rise high in the sky and uh, just utilize it feel free remove all the clutter have a heart and um, just enjoy these four beautiful years of your life they are never going to come back but at the same time make the best out of it so that at the end of the fourth year when you pass out from this college or rather after five more years i see around four more ias ips indian army and other people adding up to this panel that would be a big big motivation not only for the forthcoming students but also for us yeah joydi thanks we we've, we've heard from mayuraksh and joydi what to do uh, i i i request amit and saurav to add to this question adding saying what not to do <laughs> while you are in college that is also important the uh, the authorities will obviously be telling you all but let's hear it from the students themselves what not to do so saurav amit if you can shed light yeah, on yeah, that yeah, yeah. yes yes definitely <laughs> i will not see i would like to say uh, about uh, discipline and all those matters uh, you know, they will brief you uh, those are important uh, keep them in mind uh, okay but uh, more importantly uh, what not to do uh, i tell you uh, do not be afraid to explore these are, these are some of the things that you should uh, you know so do not be afraid to explore do not be afraid to ask questions in the class uh do not be some uh, i know that uh, uh, i come from a very small town some people will come from small town you will be shy you will be having all kinds of apprehensions uh, but do not let that uh, come in the way of learning uh, yeah, do not stay away from sports please uh, participate in sports um please make a lot of friends uh, you know these are something that uh, you do or uh, don't do i mean covering all of them a discipline aspect they'll tell you i <laughs> mean there's nothing much to do i mean unless you really unless you are really into something uh, uh, i mean i don't know what kind of things you need to do but uh, nothing uh, otherwise you will not worry you are just about uh, at this uh, attend the classes go in time come back and don't do anything like i don't know what kind of things you can do probably they'll tell you i don't know <laughs> but i think other things that i said they are more important keep them in mind yeah nicely said sarav uh, i will i will add to it uh, see the authorities are there to tell what what to do and what not to do but one thing i will say the authorities authorities are like our guardian so uh, guardian they are looking after us the, the four years we have given to them so whatever they will say they will say for our own benefit so uh, i will request all students to keep that in mind that uh, whatever our uh, our guardian is telling is the authorities are telling there uh, just uh, go with it and again i will uh, say uh, what mr rakshi told the constructive criticism uh, be uh, 
uh, see i earlier also i told that i was not so extrovert so earlier i in the first year i was not uh, asking lot of questions even some questions were there in my mind uh, that 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 used to uh, keep clutter cluttering in our head so at that point of time i didn't realize but later of point of time i realized that no i should ask question i should clear my doubt so uh, first and foremost thing which i will say you should say whatever you should speak your mind you should say what what is there in your head you just ask the questions uh, be it every be it anything if, even if someone laughs don't think that oh if i will ask her in a question puchunga to wo kaise hasega kya bolega kya hoga means like don't think like that uh, you just uh, be uh, be open speak of your mind and uh, definitely you will excel in your uh, career and uh, whatever your guardian that is the authority tells you uh, obey obey it, uh, you will definitely success that's it thank you everyone um, uh, i'm sure the freshers must have learned a lot from your experiences and they've got to know what has happened what could happen what they should do what they should not do uh, what are the advantages that they get from the institute so uh, uh, i would like somebody from the authorities to also shed light on this uh, in this thing so what other things that the students can expect during these coming four years which will make their life special in heritage so since this is an open forum and this is an induction i'm sure you've spoken a lot so what more can they expect after uh, they've heard all this so if anybody from the uh, sorry would like to shed light on that yeah first sandeep sir has to say something he wants to announce yes, yeah right. i would like to announce uh, this is for the uh, uh, freshers that your classes will commence from next wednesday uh, your online classes will commence from the next november wednesday 18th november you will get the time table in your institute website in the website of our institute and uh, uh, so you how you have to join and what will be other formalities how how you can join a particular class what will be the joining link and what will be anything else that we will share you will get to know everything in due course of time but for now i am telling you that will, from 18th of november next wednesday we will start with our classes online so and that from is, the uh, authority point of view as rohit you were saying uh the message to the students is that you will have a very good and smooth passage here in heritage provided you have to ask for what you want don't keep it to yourself like amit sir amit has just said you ask questions you speak out your mind and then everything is there in on the platter provided it is acceptable to the authorities who are your guardians please accept us as your guardians and we will definitely take very good care of you So okay I thank you sir i would like sir. to personally thank uh, saurabh amit aidi mayurakshi they have taken a lot of time but their precious time they have given to our students today and uh, students should make the most out of it and come out with flying colors that some day they will remember that before even the start of the classes they met such stalwarts of heritage institute of technology Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As your as your teacher, thank I took you. today your name with so much of pride. Right. It gives me so much of pride. I I I can't express in words. So I'm 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 very very proud of you. We all at Heritage are very very proud of you. We all wish you all the success in all your future endeavors and hope that you will be with us, be be in touch with us, with the family you have at Heritage. So all the best to all of you. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank, everyone. Thanks a lot. I'd like thanks to just add one more thing, which I uh, remember. This is my second time in an induction program. I remember inducing my junior batch, and uh, I I close this speech with a particular line, which I still remember, and I still want to say it, that uh, the journey is just started, and uh, there a time will come when people will say, IIT Kanpur, IIT Kharagpur. JID Jadavpur and then HIT Anandpur. Oh, so wow. <laughs> all the best to all of you, and uh, uh, we wish you a very good journey for the coming years of your life. And uh, thank you everyone for being a part of it, and thank you everyone for sharing the views. So look forward to meeting all of you soon. Yes, thank you. thanks. Thanks a lot.
thank you thank you thank you saurav thank you thank you joydeep thank you mayurakshi thank, thank you all okay Take have care. a happy and safe diwali all of you yeah 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 you too happy diwali to yeah. everyone happy and this diwali should be a diye ki diwali is what diye